Hello, my name is Diana González and I teach English at the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia at the Gandia campus. Today we are going to deal with technical compound nouns in English. The goal of this session is to provide students with the basic theoretical tools to understand how compound nouns work in technical English. We will first define compound nouns and afterwards we will deal with their structure, pronunciation, interpretation. Finally, we will bring this talk to a conclusion. So, let's get started. We refer to a compound noun when two or more words are used together as a single noun. Compound nouns often have a meaning that is different from the two separate words, as in hard drive. These are two different words, hard and drive, and they have different meanings. In a compound noun, there is always a head word and one or more modifiers, as in the example inkjet printer, where inkjet is the modifier and printer is the head. The first word, the modifier, describes the second one, telling us what kind of object it is or what its purpose is. And the second part of the compound noun, the head, identifies the object or person in question. As to their meaning, modifiers can refer to different things. They can refer to materials, as in the example silicon chip, which is a chip made of silicon. They can refer to use or function, as in the example satellite phone, which is a phone that connects by sending a signal up to a satellite in space. They also can convey activity or profession, as in software engineer, which is a person, who is a person, sorry, who designs software. They also mean place, as in web portal, which is a site on the web that acts as a gateway to other sites. Regarding their structure, compound nouns are written in different ways. They can be written as one word, like in the example broadband. They can be written as separate words, as in the example internet cafe, or as hyphenated words, like in a self-test. However, there are no rules. Some words also may change over time, as in the example website, which was originally uh, written, separated, but then it evolved to a hyphenated word and finally it remained unspaced. Pronunciation is really important uh, when um, dealing with compound nouns, since uh, the stress uh, must be uh, placed correctly. When we pronounce a compound noun, we can distinguish between a compound noun and an adjective with a noun, depending on the pronunciation. So, in a compound nouns, the main stress usually falls on the first part. Let's see the examples here. We have a greenhouse, which is a place where we grow plants. This is a compound noun. A green house. In this case, we are talking about a house painted green. Here we have an adjective and a noun. To interpret compound nouns, we need to reverse the order of the words in the compound noun and insert some prepositions. Let's have a look at the example. A data transmission network. Now, what we should do is to reverse the order of the words and insert prepositions. So, a data transmission network is a network for transmission of data. Please note that certain compound nouns contain words that have a particularly close relationship and cannot be interpreted in the reverse order. In the example we are providing here is high-speed platforms, which are platforms of high speed. To conclude, 
we can say that compound nouns are very frequent in technical language because they express a great deal of information with a few words. However, problems may arise if we try to make up new compound nouns, especially if they contain three or more nouns. So, my recommendation is that you use only those compound nouns that are generally accepted in technical language. Please always look up the compound noun in a good dictionary whether you're not sure to write it. And with this, I finish this polymedia. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.